Many companies have set a goal of carbon neutrality. And that's the good news, because it's kind of burning out there. Even if the carbon neutrality objective only makes sense on a global scale, every step forward is precious. Are you a human being? Mm. Good. We're talking to you. If you're also personally concerned by the climate emergency, and you are an executive of a company, a bank, or an investment fund, then we have more good news. You have great power to act. And as you probably know, with great power comes great responsibility. The first part of these responsibilities, as you know, is to take stock of your carbon footprint. You take everything you have emitted this year in CO2 and you categorize it into the main types of emissions. From now on, your mission is to reduce everything you can reduce. But unfortunately, we know emitting zero CO2 is impossible. To understand this, let's look at the remaining emissions, the ones you absolutely can't reduce. See? These are other people's emissions. This is what we generally call scope three of the carbon footprint. As long as the air conditioning you use in your offices contains powerful greenhouse gases, as long as your raw materials are extracted thanks to oil, and as long as your servers consume vast quantities of carbon-based energy, you can't go any further in your reduction process. To reach the global net zero target, we need a collective global investment to finance the innovations that radically reduce emissions and develop new carbon sinks. At the moment, investors who are financing the road to global carbon neutrality are not rewarded as they should be. But that was before climate dividends changed the game. In addition to carbon credits, which allow you to buy units of climate benefits to other parties, climate dividends allow you to become a producer of your own CO2 reductions. How? By investing in a company that reduces emissions through innovation and pays you a climate dividend every year. This dividend corresponds to a number of tons of CO2 equivalent captured or reduced. For example, the CO2 reduced thanks to a company that markets the first air conditioning without HFC gases, which are 2,800 times more harmful to the climate than CO2. Become a shareholder of this company and you will receive climate dividends every year based on the number of tons of CO2 that have been captured or reduced thanks to this system. So if you invest in several companies that reduce or capture a lot of CO2, you earn a lot of climate dividends. The total CO2 reduced or captured by each company is distributed directly to its shareholders in the form of climate dividends. If you own 1% of the shares of a company which fights climate change, you earn back one of the total CO2 not emitted or captured by that company activities each year. With climate dividends, the value of the shares you own is totally linked to the level of CO2 impact of your investments. How we use our money defines the world we want to live in.